I think it rings possibly most conservative apparatus has been changed since a lot. So I get my gold medal pretty much with similar element what you guys doing now. Okay? So whatever, rings is quite special apparatus. So now you have to be all rounder, so you have to do your best. I think from my experience in gymnastics, because uh, rings possibly has 360 elements in code of point, you need only choice eight elements, and sometimes even two choice elements not easy at all. So first of all, the rings, the apparatus, when you, if you're strong, you can demonstrate your strength. If you're not so strong, you have a little bit less choice for the elements. Because we're talking about junior gymnastics, so I just come back from world championships, I see the final was strong final, but our European gymnast wasn't too many on this rings final. So something happened, physically people stronger from China or different country, not from Europe. So this happened. So it's why they, we have to be very careful to plan in our future for new code. Even we have to be clever enough to understand what's going on. For example, I'm entitled to say for next code element like back up rise to top lines would be not in code anymore in straddle position. Because one of the reasons, because many junior gymnasts trying to get this element because it's a requirement and losing almost five, one mark to, to gain seven tenths and, you know, too much deduction. Or whatever, if you do back up, strong enough, you do back up rise to top lines legs together, you're welcome. It still will be in the court. But if you do just top planche, that would be no, from different group, straddle would be still element, okay? So it's why I will give you a little bit more advice how to cope with that. Even a couple years ago, when I started talking to the people, uh, my feeling already was quite negative about this element. I started, okay, can we start using kick up to support or maybe home to support? And last couple of years, I see many gymnasts been doing this quite well. And unfortunately, nobody been using front price to have lever, which is front price. It's another B element. And today I have experience with few people on, on the rings and obviously I understand the knowledge about doing front price not very high. So I would like to talk about some little things. And first of all, I would like to coaches and gymnasts to, my, uh, to understood particularly gymnast, so when we're using rings, because the rings always moving. It's not like high bar always in the same position or any apparatus stays the same. Rings moving. So gymnast has to control the body posture and gymnast has to control swings of the rings. And sometimes has to be understand the principle, mechanical principle to helpful to get big uh, element to using this uh, movement of the rings. Okay? So, first of all, the principle of any swings element, I'm going to be talk from group one, group two, come three, a little bit, and finish on this mount. That's what my lecture. So, if you look in the element from group one, it's a swings element. So, swings element is actually, you need to know how they create swings element. So, possibly from few people, I already had a little bit chat with uh, position. So, most important, any elements must be showing hand position. This is little things, yeah? Hand position. So, from, if you're doing on high bar, very simple, high bar still, just moving forward, backwards. You cannot do with rings like that. Because if you do from static, kicking rings for, uh, feet forward, automatically rings go forward. So that's already wrong. Because that will be, create problem. So when you're on rings, so, even advice for when you start teaching five years old, six years old, just hang in there and move the, for them, just rings, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. And you can see your body start moving, okay? Sometimes you possibly need to do, even with all the gymnasts. So when gymnasts start a uh, little exercise, when body goes forward, the uh, rings has to go completely opposite. So if, if it go backwards, rings go opposite, okay? And when you're getting more experience, when you're watching the elements of the rings, and after elements, gymnasts come to no static handstand, and rings still moving, that means you're breaking the main rule, you're passing the vertical 
in the wrong position, you do in the wrong time, wrong action, which mostly action you start using pull, which is you can see your head out, okay? Head out, you start close, then you're trying to, so if you, uh, back giants perform by this action, you can see possibly gymnast will make handstand, will be well away from handstand, then he will be fighting for handstand, swing start will be losing, swing like that, and will be cost you three, five, maybe even more tens, okay? So, that is for how we achieve the better performance. So now, I give you some exercises which is to understand this principle. So, I'm going to ask, I think we did with, uh, with you, yeah? just hanging up on, uh, okay? So, it's not quite easy to move. Okay, just do hang. Remember, I asking your swings, what I just talked about. So, this shape has to be stay this way, the same. Not to using any force by closing shoulders. And he start to move. Okay, this level, go. Okay. Ring, ring. Go. Little, less, less, smaller swing, go. Okay, can you see his temptation swing forward, he start pulled. Okay, right, so down. Because we know very, I know very talking about academically, but I know from the school, if a gravity, bail, gravity taking maybe four or five times of your body weight, yeah? So this big force, you're always walking against big force on the body. If you're trying to do something physically work in this moment in time, you're always going to be loser. So better to pass this, it's only taking uh, maybe 10 degrees one way to another one, so only taking a little bit, then you force already passed, then you start doing close the shoulders, and you go and use force plus effort by muscle, you get double result, okay? Another thing, uh, when you, do, doing lots of different elements for any, any dismount, the pr principle of swing is the same. Because uh, I know from, I've been a long time in gymnastics, like in 70s, people have lots of argument what's best to do for double straight dismount. Because uh, mostly people said, early as possible, close the shoulders, hips towards the rings, you will get result. You possibly will get result, some people can, but you never achieve some side high enough. Because only using proper swings on the, on the rings, your expectation to see first some side closer when this connection wires with the white stuff, yeah? So definitely any dismount should be above top of the rings. Okay, that is the reason. Okay, first then we have to ob obviously look the swings forward because principle of the bigger swings after you're passing this vertical with rings, then you have to shoulders down. So now, when we start to do swings, before actually swings, I need to one person go with me. Lie down on the floor. So now we're looking for a position of vertical position, when you pass in vertical. And straight away, people asked me a question yesterday, what my arms, uh, my arms doing to do on swing forward? Shall I keep arms like that or chill like that? So at this moment, I will say it's the most important thing to worry about. If you pass vertical, so your body, your gravity will take in up, up to horizontal. You have no pressure on rings at all. You only start pressure on rings when you go going past the horizontal towards handstand. So basically, if you look at smaller swings, basics, and focus about what's happening on the bar, don't worry about arms position. At least gymnast must fix shoulders, and always su suggest keep your head natural. If you see your head out. You stay straight away, your arms walk in the wrong direction. Okay, lie down, lie uh, on the spinal. Okay. So that's its front position swings. So dish, dish, Okay, that's about the position. So in this position, already possible start ten rings, rings uh, out. Ten rings out, okay? Разведи ручки. Сейчас кувырок стоечку будем. Okay. Okay. So most important, hold the dish position. If your hips still a little bit too far and using the, so you already your force going to be wrong direction, not it was handstand, particularly not for hands for this mount. From there, because previously force only way will take you towards handstand. Yeah? So that's you get 
from swing, circle up, or if you come from handstand, that will be back giants. Okay, now I turn around to stomach, but we need to stomach, the shot. Okay, we're looking at the same level, only arch position. So when you do swings, you start moving shoulders out. You keep your uh, shoulders down long as possible. Because make a common mistake, people pressing too soon towards handstand. Okay? No like that. So you have to wait, 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 wait. Then push. Okay? Then we go for a drill. Kurok period. Zakrite. Okay. That's the principle, main principle. And of course, another problem for in locate, dislocate. If shoulders too stiff, it's very hard to be correct, yeah? So obviously, a requirement for gymnast at least dislocate with a stick bar, level of shoulders. You don't have to be mega flexible. Sometimes mega flexible create more problem. If you're very stiff, and that will be another problem. So uh, my suggest was for in the morning for everybody to first go as warm up, always practice these little swings, one go. It will take time when it will be automatic in gymnast's head. This is what happened to rings. And same time, save your time, you can this use for flex, uh, flexibility warm up. You do half dislocate. Okay, if you see like that, five, five things, things. One, shoulders open, 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 open. Okay, now on swings, go in like half in locate, half in locate, and come back. Half in locate, okay, half in locate, half. Okay, this is very good for up for the shoulders for the reason if you do every day your shoulders get more flexible because exactly the same action happen any movement towards swing handstand any Jonas and Yamawaki exactly the same and I would be even thinking further to give a chance to do double front double pike because Jonas and Yamawaki we call double somersault to swing forward yeah it's like double somersault you must must feel in what is double somersault like if people get used to, to use straps, which is for safety reason good, so gymnast can take more repetition if you have to, so still good. So he has a choice to use straps today. Okay. Okay. So he started from little things, and because when his final position, he has to be push a little bit and hold on a bit too long, and rings gone too far, so he had no enough time to put rings in the right position. So he delayed with moving rings forward, and a little bit swing starts moving like that. Okay, you know, the rings is required uh, from. I have very good example. Uh, last week I had take video of the guy from one of club from Great Britain. He's 10 years old, and he doing in straps front swings. Forward giants, forward giants easily. Back giants not so good. For 